I just had faith in myself, in my trainer, what we've been through, and of course in the Lord. So I went out there and I basically blanked out my mind and took what was there and counter on what he attacked on. And I came out victorious. From all the chase we saw this guy, he had the one weapon. And basically that was it. You know, nothing else was really that effective. He was coming at me with heavy punches, heavy kicks. He even, he was a better wrestler than I expected because he got two takedowns on me. I watched him on tape and his wrestling was good, but I felt like, okay, he's not gonna be able to take me on any of my wrestling because I've been doing wrestling throughout high school and college. And then he came out, he got a takedown in the first round, then he got a takedown in the second round. But it wasn't a takedown that he executed. It was off my own move. So it was a counter takedown. But that didn't phase me at all. I just kept, I knew I had to keep the pressure on. So if my game plan was pressure. He would throw punches and kicks at me, but I, would, I had to stay in his face. I had to break him down mentally, physically, and I took his heart away, and I knew come third round, this fight was mine. So we figured that if we can neutralize the big hand with all the things that he could, the Kong could do, you know, it would, we would become out victorious. And that's pretty much what happened. You know, the guy had a big hand, Kung matched with the hands. He, he threw his big hands, you know, and it hit him. And all of a sudden, the, the, the Chinese crowd just kind of moved. And also there came the kicks, you know, come through the kicks, came, came the scissors kick, came the supers, all these things that the fighter wasn't able to do. The key, you know, what he wasn't able to do was adjust. I saw the defeat in his eyes. He was backing up, and I just kept coming. There's a kick. his style, not his reputation, not his entourage that came out there, not the whole Chinese team or, the, or all of the things they stood for. We fought his style, and Kung was able to adapt to what he was doing and come out victorious. The final thing that I took him out on was the scissor kick. Um, I did one scissor kick, and then he kept backing off. Then I, then I, what wore him down was I kicked him to his shin, to his inner thigh, out of thigh, I kicked up high, I punched, I threw. I basically pulled out everything in my arsenal. The double arm souffle, double legs, the, the front headlock to the reverse throw. I did everything I can do to this Chinese fighter. And everything that I did worked in the later rounds because he was fresh in the early rounds and he, he pressured back. So it was one of those fights that I had to throw everything in the kitchen sink at him to take him out. First thing that came to my mind was, thank you, Lord. So I dropped to, down to one knee and I gave him, I gave him the biggest thank you that I have ever given in any of my fights. So that, that was one of the greatest feeling that I felt because not only did I do it for myself, I did it for USA. It was a tough fight, but he was a more command. You can see his maturity as a fighter. He was in a tough situation and he handled it. He stayed calm and he fought, technically. He fought a very smart fight and he beat him, you know? And the confidence I think in both of us got higher. Like, you know what? We're going there. We're getting there. You know, this, this is really working. Um, it was a very, very good fight. And then came Hong Kong. <laughs> This was Kung's third try at, at the Worlds. And we felt kind of, we didn't quite agree on whether you should do it or not. I felt that since you're pro, you should stay pro. You know, you don't need to go back to these tournament kind of style of fighting. Um, he wanted to go with metal, I understood that. Because that was the one thing that he wanted. You know, he had, he had two shots at it before, and he came out with the bronze. And it's like he's our best hope to get the gold. And it's like now, for what he knows, now that his maturity, now the way he fights, now he, he, he's, he's gained. It's there. You know, everything was just clicking. It was just like, it's working. You know, it's like, man, good is the gold. It's as good as yours. 
a mistake. Fruit. Yeah. Fruit. It's probably that juice bar. Do not fruit. eat fruit on yeah. the streets of Kowloon. No, 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 don't. <laughs> for Hong Kong, for me, it was just a rough experience. Being sick with dysentery, losing 12 pounds, it just does not bring back any good memories, but it does bring back a lot of good knowledge because by me overcoming my sickness, it took, showed me how much character and what kind of person that I'm made of. And trying to be strong to show my teammates that you can overcome anything. You know, you might have lost on that day, but at least you can wake up another day. Like so many people who never get that chance to wake up another day. For me, I feel fortunate to be there and to, to learn what I've learned from all the people around me, to see how much Giovanni loves me, my wife, how much she cares and loves me, my mom, how everyone was so concerned for me and how little I was concerned for myself because they, they told me I had to go to the emergency to get IV. I, my condition was very poor. I didn't care, I just wanted to fight. And I wanted to finish like a warrior, but who knows why I would have died in the ring for, for being so sick and going out there and expending so much energy, my body would have shut down on me. The respect, the love, the, the honesty the fact that we're only human, and sometimes we're gonna lose. Going back to what makes you a champion again, is that you gotta be prepared to lose, as well as win. And what makes you a champion is, what do you do after you lose? You know, if you accept defeat and understand, okay, well that's it, I lost, then you're not a champion. You are a champion <clears throat> while you win, as well as as you lose. If you fight as a champion, you win as a champion, you will also lose as a champion. You don't lose that because it's in here. It's the way you go down. And if you're a true champion, you get right back up. Martial arts in general has made me more complete as a human being. Keep working. Keep working. Come on, keep working. 